we'll have a little look inside this 100 amp variable voltage transformer. Four of these are stacked up in parallel, each one 25 amps. Obviously you've got balancing chokes there. This is our neutral, which runs all the way through. And what's interesting with this one, I noticed that it's got a tap on this terminal, which will give us 0 to 100% of the input voltage to 40. But if we shift this bar onto this terminal all the way through, then we'll get 0 to 275 on the output. So we'll do that and then have a little look. Let's measure it as it is, and then we'll measure it after. So, let's plug it in. Might make some nice noises, mightn't it? How about that, don't I? <laughs> no inrush. It was all tied up in that extension lead. <laughs> so let's turn this up then. Full whack, output, two, three, three. Exactly the same as what's going in. So I think we'll need to change the taps. We'll do that again. You can see that's on 110%. But as I say, because of that tap, we're only getting 100% of what we put in, not 110%, or actually 115%, whatever it is. Good. Now you can see I've moved the input from this one onto that one. On all of them. All the way up. So hopefully now we'll have 115% of what we put in. That's what it's designed for. Let's test it. Plugging it in. Might get a bit more of a hum this time. That's more like it, isn't it? Look at that, 270 out. Just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> Good. Everything working as it should be. Got some wheels on it, that was a bit tricky. Just need to do something on the front panel. And then we've got a tasty variant there. 100 amps. Do, won't it? Good. Still got that one, of course. I think this uh, front panel needs a bit of modification. We'll tidy that up a bit, and make it a bit more practical. Maybe we we'll put some uh, 100 amp plugs on it and sockets, of course. Right, let's carry on. <laughs> bit more chopping to do. Finally, we've got some good news. This 100 amp variable voltage transformer is now finished. Quick look at the panel. This is our input. Goes through this contactor, 140 amps, via emergency stop circuit. Breakers, four switches to select each one of these variable toroidals. Balancing transformers, 100 amp out. Goes for a CT, isolator, output, meter of course, couple of small control fuses, job done. I think we need to turn it on. Yeah. 
now we've got a shot of the inside of the back that looks very tasty indeedy and it will go up a lot quicker because it's manual we'll have no trouble there we ain't got to wait for nothing so we'll have a lot more control rather than waiting for that one it's looking good Two transformers to play with, one automatic, one manual. Much quicker. Looks like I'm on gardening duty then, doesn't it?